Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf here on the Ping Proving Grounds with uh, Master Fitter James Lee. And we're here today with some new Ping PLD milled putter for 2024. So um, the Ping PLD line, I mean, it's, it's been years and years, but they're all excellent. They got, they're a ton of to play on tour, right? Um, and for so sure. there's, there's no reason to, I guess, stop the momentum for Ping. So um, the 2024 milled line here, we've got four of the models. I've got the Answer, the Answer 2D, and then you've got the Alley Blue and the Oslo 3. So uh, maybe some new shapes, but also some right. ones that are returning. So um, I think the what I look at with these putters is just the the milled finish and the milling process that goes into it obviously delivers an extremely soft feel and some really consistent performance. For, that is for correct. Putters. Yep. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a full putter fitting I like and it. see which model you fit into. Yeah, and I, I currently play for those that are following the channel, they might know a little bit already. I play a Ping Harwood. Uh, so I've so you're a mallet I've, guy. I'm a mallet guy. That's okay. that about, that's about it, as extreme of a mallet as you right. can get uh, out there. So I so my we'll first instinct looking. is to say, hey, I like these two. Right. But um, I I'm gonna yield my uh, my opinions to the results of the fitting here. So I'm gonna we have the uh, the the ping putter uh, fitting app. Um, yep. the, the mobile app. So and we're gonna, we're gonna use we're that. Gonna use that. Um, and then we're also you know I we we have to talk about the grip because uh, you mentioned it a little bit at the beginning, but there's a new grip for this series. Yes. So. Uh, tell me about that. So this is the PP58. We have an L and we have an M. So yeah. we have midsize and we have large. What's neat about this, this is the old style PP58 yep. without the squishiness. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's one of those classic, like you've seen even like both staff and non-staff tour players, you watch golf and you probably see somebody with this little ping grip on their putter and you know, they might be playing something else. And so to have it as like the, the go-to option, the stock option for these right. putters is really, really cool. So um, they, and they feel phenomenal. I mean, I'm looking forward to hitting some putts here. So um, I think without further ado, we'll start, yeah. we'll start the putting. Here. Let's do it. Let's do it. How's this, uh, what does this putt do? A little yeah. right to left. Okay. I like that. That's a good putt for me. A little right to left. All right. That was a bad stroke. See, I like this though because so my putter obviously has a very, very soft feel with that hardwood and the soft insert. Right. Um, I think I might be looking to get something. That's going to be a little firmer. firmer. Yeah. It, I, and I'm I'm interested in something a little firmer. A little bit more of a pop. Yeah. Coming off the face. Okay. I like the okay. rounded shape more than I thought I would actually. Okay. I, I will say that for feedback. This is a new shape though, isn't it? Yes. So let's put with this one now. Okay. I mean, five putts and yeah, then I haven't, this is, yeah, this is a new one. That's going to be just a little bit this heavier. Is this is almost, the shape is almost like a mini hardwood. Right. A little bit. That's why I said I, I like that one for you, but we'll see if your closing angle warrants that. That felt like my best putt so far. Yeah. To be honest. Kind of like your chip shot out of the bunker. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Draining them. I'm on fire. <laughs> Don't let me get hot. Uh, I hit it too hard. All right. God, that's a close call. So I am going to put this app on there. Which one did you like better? Oh man. Look wise and feel wise. I know that one is okay. close to the hardwood I, as far as look. This is a little bit more square. Yeah, I, I, hmm. Here, hold them side by side while I put your information in here. I do think I like the, the alley blue a little bit more. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, because so I think it is just because I'm used to the hardwood. Used to that hardwood um, look, right? That hardwood shape. Okay. Yeah. All right, you're going to give me five putts. Okay. I'm going to put this on there. Okay. All right, let me get those for you. So same thing you're just doing. 
Okay, just hitting putts at the yep. hole? Five right. putts and then we'll talk some numbers. I don't have to do anything on here, it'll just read no. it? No. Okay. It'll just pick it up. Make sure it read it. Yep, we're good. Ooh. What if I just go five for five? Why not? <laughs> I jinxed it. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. That was my big mistake there. That's like looking at your scorecard before hole 18, right? When you're five under. Right, yep. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're playing so well. Ooh. Yeah, that's the classic. Like, you, everybody tells you, like, to... Don't think about your score. Or don't know your yeah. don't know your score is at. Right. You just keep playing. Right. Because the moment you do, you start getting putting pressure on yourself. Ooh. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's go through these numbers. Sweet. So this is equivalent to a handicap in golf. So you're a point eight when it comes to putting. Okay. This is a consistency app. It doesn't know where the hole is at. It's just based on your stroke. Okay. And it's five categories we're going to look at. First one being closing angle. So you're at 4.9 degrees. And what that means is how much rotation you have when you start your downswing until mm -hmm. you make impact with the ball. Okay. All right? So you rolled a plus four in that category. See how tight that dispersion was? Yeah. Closing angle is really good. The reason why that's important is because there's straight, slight, and strong arc putters. Now, you said you like this one but this more on the strong arc yeah, side. Right. So if you had missed tendencies to the right, this could affect it also and still leave it out right. Because really? you don't have okay. enough rotation to score Got it, it up. Yep. So we'll look at that. Impact angle, it doesn't matter if you close, square, open. It's as long as you're consistent. Okay. So being close, that means you're a little bit of a right aimer and you compensate by closing it a little bit. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that as long as you're consistent. Tempo. So this is what we use to fit for head weight, and you're at 2.6. So that's 1.8 to about 2.0 is average. Okay. Anything slower than that, you want to try to fit someone into a heavier putter. Really? Okay. Hence, that's why you like the hardwood yeah, okay. and now sure, yep. the alley. Okay. I'm a slow tempo putter. Yeah. Right. And okay. there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But for what will happen is if you have like an answer style putter and your um, tempo is like 2.6, yeah. what could beat. happen, it could start walking back on oh, you yeah. because your tempo is slow. Mm -hmm. So that's why sure. when we use this okay. the head weight, we want to make sure that we have something a little bit heavier to keep you more stable. Got it. Okay. So lie angle. So when you're putting, that toe is up in the air a little bit. So what we want to make sure is that it's level. And if you look here, you're at 24.3 and standard is 20. Oh, really? So we need to flatten that out a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm not going to flatten out 4.3 degrees. You being a good golfer, you'll adjust. Yeah. You'll see that flat and you'll drop your hands to get that toe back okay. up a little bit. So we only go maybe two degrees on the flatness flatter than what it is and then shaft lean minus 0.3 so i'm not going to make any changes there so that's that's pretty good i have some people that come in and their hands are back and they're adding loft oh, the ball's yeah. hopping right so i right, got to right. take off some loft yeah sure and just the opposite if you're driving into the ground i need to add some loft okay so we won't mess with the uh, shaft lean there so but how comfortable were you with this putter i mean i, I was comfortable yeah um, so you made some good putts yeah um you missed a couple to the right and again you're 4.9, which is a slight arc category, slight arc putter, but it's nothing saying you can't be in this style of a putter. Especially okay. if you like looking down at it, you're used to what yeah. you're currently playing. It's a little heavier for your tempo. Yeah, so. yeah. I think it's, I mean, I've, I like I've said before, I certainly like the the mallet, and this shape is actually really nice. I yeah. like it. I think, um, I think I, it would be one of those where I would be kind of deciding between maybe even these two with the, the stroke type, you know? Right. Because um, you said this is a, is this a sl this is a slider strong arc. This is a strong arc, right. right? So it might be something where maybe I hit it more some more putts with the Oslo three, kind right. of get used to the look. Yeah, the look a little right. bit. Right. Um, but I think I will say throughout all the putting. I mean, first of all, look at how these consistent those putts were. Even though, though I missed them, they're right. all in the same spot. Right. Um, and then the, the feel on all of them is so good too. Good. Like it's a, it's a firmer, which is what I'm looking for. Right. But. Um, and then I get the feedback I need when I miss one, maybe slight toe, or right. you know, I, I feel that, and that's something I might I don't get right now out of the hardwood. It's just gotcha. so soft that yeah, it is. I miss it off the heel or off the toe. It's like it's so soft that right. I don't even really feel anything sometimes. Um, so yeah, these are I I love these I love these putters, and this I think this would be the one I would start with. And right. then let's say I is still having that that slight miss, maybe I 
toy with the Oslo three. And okay. See if that would be I mean, better. that's why it's important to get fit and right. not just grab a putter off the shelf because you don't know what your stroke type is. Right. You don't know what your tempo is and using a heavier putter to fit you for a slower tempo mm -hmm. is going to be better or using a strong arc for someone who has a lot of rotation is going to be better than a slight arc mm -hmm. or even a, um, a straight arc. Right. Right. Yeah. So that's it's, why it's important to get fit for a putter. Yeah. It's uh, and as as our, our putter fitter, fitting team always says, you know, is the putter is the one club that you use unless you chip in. You know, this right. is the one club you use every single you, hole. You're so going to use it. You, no you better get, you better get fit for it. Right. right? So, <laughs> um, but yeah, the the ping, you know, the 2024 mil PLDs are are clearly winners. Um, you know, be, unfortunately there's the, the DS72 to test today, but that would have been one also to add in here, and that's going to be a fantastic model. Obviously with Victor Hovland is already winning a ton right. that shape. So <laughs> right. um, uh, really good stuff here. And um, you know, as we go into the next section for our final thoughts and recapping things, uh, I think a lot of people are going to love these in 2024. For sure. So James, the testing and fitting complete for Ping 2024 PLD milled putters. Um, we specifically tested the Oslo 3, and then I have here the Alley Blue 4, which uh, I liked this shape a lot. Mm -hmm. I also loved the feel from both models. Right. Um, I think the, the milling pattern clearly works really well for paying and uh, offers golfers really responsive and yet kind of firm feel that right. I think people love. So, um, but kind of, can you recap a little bit of the, the fitting process we went through with the, yeah. the, the mobile app there and ultimately what you were able to kind of do to hone in on my putting stroke? So as we went through it, you know, I asked you what you are currently playing and you're currently playing um, the hardwood, which yeah. is a little bit larger, but yeah. it's kind of squared off mm -hmm. also. So you kind of gravitated towards yeah. this. And these are both in that strong art category. Yeah. Um, so we went through that and we went through the whole app and it showed that your lie angle was a little bit upright. Mm -hmm. So we had to flatten that out. Yeah. Your shaft lean was great. Um, but the biggest thing was the tempo. And your tempo was like 2.6, which yeah. is a little bit slower than average. So that usually warrants a heavier putter. Yeah. And we usually fit for head weight yeah. based on someone's tempo. So it's a perfect fit for you. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's almost funny because this I almost I look at this as like the hardwood's little brother almost. It's just a little bit smaller. It's kind of more compact than it, but it, it definitely, for me, gives me confidence in what I like to see. So um, let's talk a little bit more. We talked about who's it for a little bit with all these kind of videos. And um, with these, we talked about the stroke type. And so, right. like for example, the the answer, the answer 2D, those are the kind of the almost the they have you know there's their slight archetype putters, right? right? Um, and then the DS72 is that a straight one mostly? Yep. Okay. And so then, and it's all based on your stroke type, right? You had a lot of rotation. Well, yeah. I say kind of mid to yeah. in between slight and strong. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're able to to get away with this. Okay. Along with if you didn't have any right misses, mm -hmm. then we were still able to go. But if you came in and said I missed it, I missed it right, and you had a slight arc as far as rotation. I probably wouldn't put you in these models oh, because okay. then it's going to be harder to square up. Gotcha. So that's why it's important to know what someone's stroke type is. And that's the way we can just go gravitate towards one or two models and kind of narrow it in. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That makes sense because it, everybody's putting stroke is a little bit different. Everybody's different. Right. 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 So, um, but within this line, you have putters that are going to kind of cover pretty much any, at least in the stroke range, right? right. You're going to have putters that are for a strong uh, arc. You have, Absolutely. you know, the straight. Uh, putting stroke covered and anywhere in between. So um, that's what I like about this series. You got it's just kind of five additions to the PLD sort of right. storied line of putters. Um, but there's that multi fits everybody. Yeah, they have purpose for any any type of putter out there. Absolutely. So um, James, this was this was awesome. Uh, these are going to be big time winners. Yes, and they as are. As we were talking about before, golfers get fit for your putter because it's the only club unless you chip in every hole it's the only club you're going to use on every single hole so make sure it's fit for your putting stroke and your game and you can do that with the ping pld milled series for 2024 so james thank you for the time today uh, yes really appreciate it, was it. A pleasure a uh, lot of fun and uh, i'm looking forward to having these and get things in customers hands in 2024 awesome